day three. Uh, after a lot of pissing about, the steering shaft is off. Only way to do that, well, it's not the only way, but the way we actually suggested by my dad was unbolt the steering rack, pull the steering rack forward, and that gives you enough movement to pull that shaft off. Uh, I've got to stop sniffing. It takes me ages to edit them out. Balls. Um, right, in here. Disconnected the handbrake cable, so as you can see, the handbrake sticks straight up. So hopefully it should slide off. Now, there's two more chassis bolts. Which I'd seen on a video, but I couldn't find. But I have now located. And they are there, on top of the transmission tunnel, going down. So I'm going to whip them out now. And I think, think, that's the last two. Oh, what about them? Ah, they, right, okay. So they can come out. Because they are those ones. Right, okay, that makes sense. So, yeah, last two bolts. And I think tidy up the engine bay wiring. So, I'm going to tape it to the windscreen, I think. So, it's out of the way. And I suppose we can give this a go. The way I've decided I'm going to do it is I've got. I'm going to put the chassis on axle stands so it's not on the floor. And then reposition the lift and try. And once you've got the body to move a bit to the back, you can put a scaffolding board through. Underneath, between the frame and the chassis there. So I'm going to give that a go on the back. I don't know what we're going to do on the front yet. But I will film the moment of parting so we can hear the horrible noises and see all the things that I've forgotten. Show you more. Right, so this is the procedure I'm going to use. What I'm going to try and do is support it at the front and the back, drop the chassis down on stands, and then pick the body back up. multiple different angles. Let's see how this goes. Right, front does nearly touch down. And we need to come back a smidge okay the front has moved upwards the back is about to touch down which what we will do is slide them in a bit more okay uh, all right let's give it a go I'm going to unbolt these anti-roll bar brackets because they do overlap the body a bit as the body comes up. So I'm going to take those off, slip the rubbers off hopefully, and that should give me enough clearance then. So I'll do that quickly. Yeah.
Okay, so the place I thought was going to cause me problems did. Uh, this is the bolt that sheared on the back from inside the boot and the stub was sticking out. So what I've done is wedged it open, used a reciprocating saw. So, so hopefully we should go now. Oh dear. Alright, so we nearly made a minor mistake. There's two more bolts. One there. And one there, which is those are the lower ones. There and there. These go into the upper rear suspension, uh, upper rear chassis section. I think they six man Allen keys, I don't know. Let's have a look now.
Okay, so she's off. Dad turned up just at the right time to see the moment of disaster, potential disaster. Um, so far, not too much disaster. Let's so talk. Far. Yeah, that is the reason we're doing all this. That's the front outrigger. And as you can see, the rest of the outrigger is a bit crusty. Rest of the chassis, not three bad. Awesome. This done side doesn't seem as bad for oil. No. This side seems quite bad. But it could well be. Yeah. That. Could be the rocker gasket actually. There is oil up high. Eh? Could be the rocker cover gasket. I, 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 there was a time when I thought that. Well, it's there. Not loads of it. Yeah. But then it eats up and runs down, doesn't it? It's not in there, it's just there, so you're right. But then, it does seem to be around... Well, it's going to come downwards. It's going well, yeah, it's going to get up and run down, isn't it? Oh. Well, that's the thing. To Chassis's do. mint there, though. Hmm? Chassis's mint yeah, there. Just a bit of surface stuff, just here. <coughs> ah, easy if you say it fast. <laughs> okay, so my dad's gone now. <clears throat> was slightly stressful doing the the bit I didn't want to do with him watching but it's off I'm gonna put the wheels back on put it on the floor sort of steam cleaner out tidy up a lot and then we'll steam clean this off and what we're gonna do is cut the frame rails there 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 and same on the front too and then this section is going off to a fabrication place to be replaced and then I've got a master welder guy who will come and weld these in for me. Clean the rest of the uh, chassis, we'll steam clean the rest of it. Then have a look at replacing anything that needs replacing, fuel lines, stuff like that. A fuel filter doesn't look like it's ever been replaced. Um, get a coat of paint on everything and then it can go back together. So I'm going to make a frame to hold the body. So it can go on wheels, and when I've cleaned that area there, it can roll forwards. So we've lifted it using a couple of pieces of wood under the wheel arch sections on the front and the back, or the back and the front, I know you're looking at. So yeah, we'll take that as a success. Got put it back together yet, which is going to be a bit more tricky. But, so I think we'll call that part three. We'll come back to this build when chassis is back together. Oh, I might do an episode on the chassis repair, we'll see. But thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, etc. Have a good day. See you later.